I fell back, I had a fade. You no, know, I did the mother thing, I did the white thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's quite clear now. You need the fat guy. Hey, yo, I'm the one who won the 50 with they armed and vicious. Accusations won them dogs and they all fictitious. I done been to really blocks, push the hardest sixes. Keep a couple killers that don't care how far them licks is. Look, just act like they want action, but they want action. Bitch, we ain't talking no action. I'm about to get them their tractions and their distractions. And I'm about to make fractions. It looks good. Yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day in the life of a hairstylist with vlogs. I know I told you guys in my last video, which if you have not seen it, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. Um, that I was gonna try to be more consistent, and I know y'all are probably tired of me saying that, but I really mean it this time. I pinky promise. <laughs> I pinky promise but nonetheless um today I will be having two clients I'm having one at 9 a.m but she should be here pretty soon because it is 8 43 um and then also I'm going to be having another client she was supposed to come at 5 but she asked me if she could be scheduled to 8 30 which I told her yeah but being that that's outside of my business hours um 8 p.m it's going to be an upcharge so she'll be coming at 8 30 being that I'm going to be having like a little gap after my um first client I'm going to try to run to the beauty supply store to get a few things and then also I want to try to get my hair ready job because y'all i've been looking like this i want to say for maybe a little over a week and i'm tired of it um everybody getting cute except for me and don't get me wrong um a wig is gonna be hot but i'd rather be hot and cute this ain't giving hot and cute this is giving hot wore out and tired okay so i'm gonna just set you guys up chill out wait for my client and then i will see you guys when she gets here Or I've seen a lot of people using this one on the T27, but I'm not really sure. So I'm probably not going to get the toner yet until I'm 100% sure. So I'm going to just get the rest of stuff on my list. Yeah. Look at this. These persons are cute, y'all. These are so cute. A whole bunch of press ones over here, okay. Every 
second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it, Sam. Small um, ice caramel latte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's it. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never got to say shit. And I know your taste is a little bit high all so I'm back from the um beauty supply store and from getting my hair braided. Like I told you, I had to just throw in a little wig after she finished braiding my hair because. I could not be outside looking like a little boy but i just want to show you guys what i got from the beauty supply store really quickly so my client gets here because it is like 7 44 so i got some powder bleach some bw2 i got some thread i actually wanted the bigger one um which i'm probably just going to end up having to go online and order some more hair stuff anyway um and then also i got a ruby kisses in a level 16. I did order something from Amazon, so that came today, so open that up. Some eyebrow razors here. Yeah. So these are some eyebrow razors that I got, and it comes like, I think it's like four of them in here, so. so a whole bunch of these, which they do sell at the beauty supply store, but sometimes ordering stuff online, because you get to get it in bulk and it's cheaper, sometimes it's better to just do it that way, so. That is basically my little beauty supply haul or unboxing with y'all, which like I said, I'm probably going to end up going online to order some more stuff. And I did say that I was going to try to do my own hair tonight, but I know for a fact I'm not going to do that because I also want to take like some pictures and do like a little, you know, a little reel for Instagram. I'm trying to show face a little bit more on my Instagram, especially being a hairstylist like me personally. Like a lot of the videos that I like to watch, I'm pretty sure other people want to watch too. So I'm trying to get into that habit of just, you know, posting myself more on my Instagram and doing like tutorials on myself. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, but I know for a fact tonight, if I put that wig on, the content ain't going to get what it's supposed to get. So I'll probably try to do it tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to basically wrap it up because I am rambling. Um, and it is 7.51. So my client, like I said, she's coming at 8.30. Um, so I might not end up even recording that that much, y'all, because this is a late appointment. So I kind of want to be in and out, like get it over with. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. But I'm going to try to record some footage of my client tonight. So... I'll see you guys in a little bit. Can you tell I'm tired? This is the time. Okay. Hey y'all. So it is the next day and it's actually 5.30. I'm about to see. But I'm actually about to do my own hair y'all. Because like I said, I needed to get it together. Okay. It's giving little boy in. We ain't going for that. So, a quick little story time about my client from last night, child. The first time I did her hair, because I've done her hair before, um, this is maybe like two months ago, like a little while ago. Um, this would be her second time um, of me doing her hair. She booked an appointment and then she messaged me, um, I think either like the day before or something like that, letting me know, um, you know, that she won't be able to make, yeah, so she let me know the day before that she wouldn't be able to make her appointment tomorrow. So she asked if I could reschedule to another date. She wanted to reschedule to July 14th at 5 p.m. I said, yeah, sure, that's fine. But my booking site, if someone tries to reschedule less than 24 hours before the appointment, it won't let you, it won't let the client reschedule. I'll have to manually do it. So I manually rescheduled her. Everything's cool, right? So now the day of her appointment, I see, you know, a notification and it says, hey, love, I have an appointment at da da da. Sorry, I have to do this, but I won't make my appointment today. I said, okay, cool. So she's basically canceling her appointment. So later on, I get a notification that she rebooked a new appointment. And I'm kind of like, okay, that's weird. So the same day that she's canceling, a couple hours later, she books a new appointment, right? She books for the 17th, right? So now it's the 17th. She's like, hi, I have a 5 p.m. appointment. Is there a later time I could come? And on my booking website, um, I only do 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Like, hey, what's a later time? She said, can I come at 7? I said, yeah, sure, that's fine. So a few hours before she's supposed to get her hair done, she texts me. And she's like, hey, love, I'm stuck at work. I'm sorry to apologize for the inconvenience. Can I come in the morning? And I'm like, no, because I have a client, you know, in the morning, whatever. So it was just a whole lot of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, rescheduling, canceling, rescheduling, canceling, rescheduling, canceling. So that's why I started, I was like, hey, if you want to come after 8, you can. 
you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to have to upcharge you, charge you more. So, and as you can see, I finished at almost basically midnight. So, that was that. But, yeah, it's given. I'm going to have to ban, block you, <sighs> curtains closed, disappear off the internet from you. Because I just can't, like, clients like that, they give you issues and then they want to make it seem like you're the problem. Now, mind you, had I been doing all of that canceling, rescheduling, not showing up, all that time, everybody, oh, can I get a discount? Can I get the, the, the can I get the and it's crazy too because when i finish my hair don't get me wrong um you know i'm not a i'm the type of person where i'm not a hostile person but in my mind i know i will never do your hair again so as i'm doing my hair i'm super cool like i'm not showing no type of you know aggression or nothing like that because i hate people like that if you want to do somebody hair or do a service for them don't be nasty to them you feel what i'm saying so i wasn't gonna be nasty to her none, none of that but i just knew in my mind once you get up on my chair, that's it. It's curtains for you. We kind of talking now because, you know, appointments or whatever. And she's like paying me and stuff like that. She was like, girl, I thought you was going to ban me. Da, 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 da. She was probably like, what is this girl doing? And in my mind, I'm like, you absolutely right. You are absolutely right, Buki. You are absolutely right. You will not be seeing me again. You will not. I promise. Like, that's... <laughs> Like, I kid you not, that's all I was thinking. And then the part that, this is the part that really teed me off more than anything. She booked on the front to wig install knowing that it was a reinstall. But on my um, July flyer, I didn't specify whether it was supposed to be reinstalls from, you know, just my work or another stylist's work. Um, which that's kind of my L that I'm have to take. So now moving forward, I'll be more descriptive and stuff like that. Even though people still not going to follow and read directions. Girl comes in wig got a hole straight in the middle of her wig let me see if y'all can see straight in the middle of the wig all up in the middle not black all of that like all up in the front all in the middle so when i pulled out the wig i'm like how do you want to style because it's literally whole straight in the middle of your wig like so that that really teed me off because it was like girl you know that wig should have been in the trash can but you brought it to me hoping i could make it work and now i gotta become a magician so that's that but yeah i don't want to make this video too too long because i think i'm going to end this video here because i am going to start um recording a new day in the life of a hairstylist vlog road to consistency y'all i got y'all but um yeah i'm about to do my hair like i said take some like content pictures and stuff like that which um like i said i'm trying to show face a little bit more on my instagram but that is basically going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see in my videos. Um, and just let me know how you felt about this video in general. But until then, I will see you videos in my next video. Bye.